Welcome everybody to Flat Earth Nation. Mud Flood was Armageddon. Don't let them tell you anything else. I have some very important information that I want to share about China and have it tie into my theory so that I can bring it all home, that it really is the John Birch Society, the FBI and the CIA fighting over what happened in China in World War II. It's a recently rewritten history. And this is a film from 1967. And I want to show you something from close to the end first. So, and then go back and watch the beginning, hopefully with this Wi-Fi connection, be able to show you what's going on. So double check looks good now watch these children right here are going to be singing a song what is it about it's about formosa you know it as taiwan and is that in the news today oh yeah china wants taiwan back how long have they been planning this since world war ii and the nationalist ended up in Hong Kong and Taiwan, formerly Formosa. Well, they've got Hong Kong back, and now they want Taiwan. How long have they been practicing for it? Enough teasing. Watch this. His aging mind still lusts for permanent strife. The theme he preaches to old and young alike is hate. We are small militia men fighting U.S. imperialism. Uncle, we must grow up quick and go to liberate Taiwan. Taiwan, the object of the we call Formosa. This rocky island, 90 miles off the mainland, has many meanings. To statesmen, it is the last remaining redoubt of the Kuomintang, where Chiang Kai-shek with American arms has re-equipped an army 600,000 strong and dreams reconquest. But Jiang is pawn to American policy. He cannot move these troops or fuel them unless America lets him do so. Now 80, Jiang Kai-shek bespeaks for mainland China another threat. To Formosa in his flight, Jiang has carried the ancient Imperial Museum of Peking, the treasures of 800 years of Chinese art, symbol of another China. It is this echo of the past that has deviled Mao, who seeks to erasure of all past. How struggle go, we cannot tell. Well, and this man who did video buck from the good earth in classes. Oh, I hope that this interconnection is working. Hola, Tommy. The first of many i hope you get to watch this video because you're going to need this for a background on uh, to really understand what i've been getting at and how the winners of the war rewrite the history and you know as i let this uh video buffer a little bit because that's going to be important I want to remind you that you know what we were ended up with was mad and, you know, what was mad? I'll tell you what the United States never officially accepted it as, whether mutually assured destruction from the atomic weapons was officially accepted doctrine of the state military during the Cold War is largely a matter of interpretation. United States Air Force, for example, has retrospectively contended that it never advocated mutual assured destruction as a sole strategy, and that this, this form of deterrence, mutually assured destruction, oh, nobody, it's a deterrent. But when you study mutual assured destruction, it's not just nuclear. People always want to come up with weapons that, you know, 
would stop it, you know, and this, this is just our story that we're living and stalling us with, you know, it's the Nash equilibrium that if some people invent something, they just playing. Uh, unfortunately, again, he, the other things that were ever invented, that's, I'm just doing Yep, Tommy, you lost me. On second on second thought, I am going to purchase some more data so that I can use a mobile hotspot. It's a flat earth nation. You know, I'm never going to tell you anything else. Look up these videos. Uh, let me... Uh, put that video in the link while I'm still here. I'll try to put it in the comments too. Go see, go watch this and get the whole background, brother. This is what it's all about. This is what's coming down. Flat Earth Nation. You know, I'm never going to tell you anything else. Why would I? Trying to prove I have your best interest at heart. Amen. Hallelujah. Aho.